research essay is a place where you can really start to think big about your future city. What will the world look like? What technologies will you have invented? It's your city, so you get to decide. So work together to make sure that your essay is focused with logical ideas backed up by research. It was really fun researching everything and finding out a lot about the things that we were talking about. You will have to think like an engineer and solve the assigned problem head on with research, testing, and the design process. Writing the paper really helps tie everything together and it becomes the basis for your entire city. Your teacher or mentor will break down the structure of the essay so you'll know what's expected of you. This is your chance to explain how your city works. Start it early. That's the biggest thing. Successful teams start the essay early in the process, and so should you. There is a great timeline on our website to keep you on track. A lot of research before you actually begin your construction of the model. If not, you're just going backwards and doing it over and over again. Your research and writing need to define and directly address the assigned problem. We had about 13 kids involved in writing the essay. We were fortunate enough to have a pretty big team and each kid was designated a topic to cover and research for and they all were throwing paragraphs on it. That first paragraph is, is really a thesis and so when that thesis is established and all three members are very aware of it then everything falls down from there and so you constantly go back and look at what was that initial problem to solve, how are we solving it, where do we go next to make sure that that's in all the other features that we write. We had a Google Doc which everybody could access where we posted our information. We didn't have many students in the same class so we had to have them do the research, um, put on the Google Docs what they learned from the research, and then eventually we had to uh, specify people who would do the essays and do the writing. We all split up into groups of two, and we just wrote parts of the essay, and then we put them all together and checked them sentence by sentence to make sure they flowed. The technology part is you want to think into the future. I think what's well, possible maybe 100 or 150 years from now. But they still have to follow the laws of physics, the laws of science. They need to be plausible. That doesn't mean they have to be possible. Hit a wall and need some help? Reach out to your engineer mentor and other real world professionals for advice. He just got us started, started going, and then he said, okay, guys, take off with it, do yeah. whatever you want. But Make sure to, you know, read the rubric and follow the rules and you'll do great. We met with the Burns and McDonnell Energy Consultants and they suggested uh, Anatronic Fusion to us. We took their idea and we made it our own company who commercialized it. We got to tour the engineering part of UK. I thought that was really cool and it really, I want to do that now. Keep up with the rules and rubric. Check out the essay outline and find tons of helpful tips on our website. We started with the Future City website that was probably our very best resource. There are a substantial number of links that we went to, and then we just went out and did searches. You always need to use the rubric. You always need to go back to the rubric. You use the rubric again and again and again. If you're not sure where to start, reviewing past winning essays is a good first step. We spent a lot of time refining ideas and, and, and taking broader ideas and multiple ideas and bringing them down you know, to the one or two ideas that we really wanted to focus on. What was the best way to work out solutions to the assigned problem? I would say just working with all my teammates and trying to yeah. problem solve and then getting really angry and then <laughs> after it you find out it all worked out fine. Not to stress so much about the essay. Kids do get a little bit stressed out about it, but teachers are there to support that for them and to be able to guide them and be sure that they can ask questions of the teacher about how to write the essay. And it's not nearly as painful as they might think it is. It's actually really fun to write the essay because you get all this information and then you get to write it in something and send it to people who can actually do something about it. It's not like just writing it to your teacher and then she grades it and then says, oh, yay for you. They can get out and people like scientists and engineers can hear about it and they'll be like, oh, this is a cool idea, maybe they'll do something about it. Who cares if you get recognition for it? But if it makes a difference, that's good.